Hello class, this is a video tutorial on dilations of functions. A dilation can be seen as a stretching of a graph and can be applied to the vertical or horizontal axis. So a vertical di uh, dilation is stretching a function so that the distance of a function to the x-axis, so remember the distance to the x-axis is actually y values, that distance is going to be multiplied by a factor of a. Here's a quick demonstration here. So here we have the original graph, f of x. And when we vertically dilate it by a factor of 2, I've emphasized it here, the original graph, its distance to the x-axis of this point is 1 unit. When we dilate it, that distance is multiplied by a factor of 2. So its y value is now negative 2. I've emphasized it here as well. This point has the coordinates negative 1, 3. That's the original distance of 3. By a vertical dilation of 2, it is now going to be 6. The same can be said about the horizontal dilation. We are stretching the function so that the distance of the function to the y-axis, so the x values, is multiplied by a factor of b. So I've one, uh, here it is again. The original graph, y equals f of x. And in blue is the dilated function or the transformed function. This time, it is a factor of one third. When we dilate by a third, the distance, so take a look, this distance here, 310, its distance to the y-axis is 3. Multiplying that by a third, we get 1. Likewise, this point, its distance is 6. Multiplying that point by a third, we get 2. And this distance of 12 multiplied by a third, we get 4. And this point here, its x distance is 9 multiplied by a third, we get 3. So this is a visual um, representation of these dilations. But now to actually apply them, once again, it's a substitution um, by some sort of expression. So a vertical dilation, uh, dilation, we are changing the y values. So we are substituting y for y minus y over a, sorry. And for a horizontal dilation, which is which are x values, we are substituting x for x over b, where a and b are the dilation factor. So let's go into just one example for this video, just to really understand um, what dilations are and how to do them algebraically. So here we go. So for these, I've given a function and um, the graph. We're going to dilate them vertically and horizontally. To do this, once again, always work with a factored form. So this, this will become x, x minus 4. Now, a vertical dilation. Uh, firstly, let's think of this as y equals f of x. And since we're vertically dilating, that's going to be y equals y over a. The factor we want to change is 2. So this will become y over 2 equals of x. We want to now y to become the subject here. So we get y equals 2 times f of x. Applying now f of x here. This will become y equals 2x outside of x minus 4. Let's now sketch this. Let's do this one in blue. Now remember, the distances vertically are now going to be doubled. So 
this point is currently a distance of four. Its distance now is going to be eight. This point here, its distance vertically to the x-axis is zero, multiplied by two is still zero. The same logic applies for this point. It won't change if it's on the x-axis. As for these points, its distance currently to the x-axis, so its vertical distance, is currently 5. That point, after our transformation, its vertical distance is going to be 10. Notice how it still has the same x value. And likewise for this point, this point here is also going to be a new y value of 10. So sketching all of these, we will get this transformed function. And there we have it. Now let's do this again for the um, horizontally as well. So horizontally, remember this is going to be x equals x over b. And in this case, since we have the expression y equals f of x, substituting x over b here, we would get f of x over 2, because 2 is the factor of this, di of this question's dilation. So we already have a fully simplified version. We're now going to substitute x over 2 back into our original form here. So this will become y equals x outside of x minus 4. So notice x is this one, and I've left space for this x here. So this will become x over 2, x over 2. And now here's where it gets a little tricky, but follow along carefully. For this group, I'm going to make the same denominator. So this becomes over 2. Now for over 1, we've doubled this, so it's going to be minus 8. So here we have our expression. And now I'm going to factor out a half from this one. Now I'm going to do this in gray just, just to make sure that you're following. This can be written as half x minus half 8. Factoring out half, I get half on the outside, x minus 8. That half is going to multiply by that x over 2, which will give us x over 4, x minus 8. Or we could write this as 1 quarter x, x minus 8. So that is our dilated horizontally um, uh, function. But now graphically, what this will look like is as follows. Let's do this one in, um, let's do this one here in um, orange. So now we're going to be do it looking at the horizontal distance. So this point, its current horizontal distance is four. So it's now going to become eight. This point, its horizontal distance currently is two. That's going to be multiplied by two to become four. This point here doesn't change. So that stays where it is because its, its horizontal distance to the y-axis is zero. Multiplying that by two remains zero. This point here, its horizontal distance to the y-axis is 5. Multiplying that by 2 becomes 10. And this point here, its horizontal distance is currently 1. Multiplying that by 2 becomes negative 2. So the points in orange, I hope you can see, 
when we sketch those becomes this transformed parabola like so and that in orange is the dilated horizontally function of this original one here so i hope that gave you an insight into um, uh, vertical and horizontal dilations hope to see the next video where we look at more examples of this hope to see you then best of luck